Have you been wanting to buy a safe? Yeah, me too. But then found the price tag to be outrageous? Man, what a bummer. But after a little research on Amazon, of course, I found this one for 189 bucks. So let's assemble it, install it, and find out if it's going to be worth it. In today's world, when you order things, they come in a million pieces. So I found it best just to do a nice little layout of all the slides, the pieces, the hardware, the screws, and just kind of take inventory of what you got to do. Because after all, we know the instructions are going to be bull crap. This safe door, that was heavy, so that felt legit. And it came with this fingerprint digital scan. I thought this was unique, especially just for 189 bucks. My purpose for this safe is actually about safety, not storing money. After all, I don't have any money, but firearms, those I have. And owning firearms comes with a crucial responsibility of ensuring their secure storage. You see, safeguarding your firearms and a secure safe isn't just a precaution, it's a promise to keep your loved ones and your community safe. And my first thought while putting this together is this thing is a flat packed flimsy piece of sh but as each piece came together it became fortified and strong and suddenly it was starting to feel like a diy fortress but i have to say the jury is still out on my final decision on if this cabinet was worth the money or not but let's continue i will say the instructions kind of blew chunks that sucked i don't like the order of operation in which they have you do each section but hey I'm getting it done, so who's complaining? Once I secured the door with a bunch of lag screws, it was time to pop the top end and the bottom. And now it was becoming really strong. And then I added these adjustable feet just to help leveling it out later. Now that this is finally coming together, I needed to come up with a location. And I did. So I grabbed my dolly and went off. Now before I get busy, I decided I had to remove a piece of my trim on the wall, or baseboard I should say. After all, I'm gonna actually reinforce it with some studs. We're gonna lag screw it to the wall and make sure this thing has no wiggle. I wanna be able to secure it and lock it down and I don't want my firearms shifting and falling over and all kinds of weird stuff. So let's put it in and try it out. Ugh. Yeah, this bad boy's in place. It's not going anywhere. All right, let's move on to the hardware and shelves. It came with a lot of fun little unique dividers and you'll see that here shortly. These foam pads, these lock your guns or your rifles in place. It also came in with this shelf. I'm gonna use the shelf to store some ammo. So we're gonna put that in right after we do this felt pad. Moving on, let's put some ammo in its place. After all, this is my first setup, so I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put this stuff or it's gonna end up in this placement. But for now, in this video, let's just load it down. And I'm starting to really think this safe, or I should say this cabinet safe, is definitely worth the money. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this on my own. And as I really want to get one of those expensive heavy safes, I don't have a location that I would really love to store it at this moment. It's big, it's heavy, and you need to do that all at once and you really have to know all your stuff ahead of time. So maybe in the future I'll splurge and get one of those expensive ones, but for now, I'm loving this guy. And I feel safe and secure with it. Now let me show you the coolest feature. Let's close this door and lock it up. Check this out. All right, we're gonna lock it, but it comes with this scan. You can do a code or a fingerprint and boom, it's unlocked. And three seconds later, it locks in all of these locations and it's nice and secure. Man, I'm loving it. 